Lesson 4-2, Linear Associations. We've already talked about an association that can either be positive, negative, or no association, and we look at the trend in the points. We can also use what's called a trend line. It's a straight line that comes closest to the points of a scatter plot. A trend line will ignore any outliers. It's also just an estimate. Two people may use a different trend line for the same data and neither be wrong as long as they're very close to the data. Now we can classify an association as being either a linear, which means it forms a straight line, or nonlinear, which means it would make a curve. Now here are two different linear associations. They are both positive, but notice that one of them has points that are very close to the trend line, and the next one has points that are very spread out from the trend line. So we can further describe these as being either strong, which is close to the trend line, or weak, which is spread out from the trend line. So if they're close to the trend line, we can say there is a strong association. It's very clear that there is an association um, that as one value increases, so does the other. But if they're very spread out, then we can say it looks like there's a positive association, um, but they're so spread out that it's hard to say that there's a very clear association. So that's kind of a weaker um, association. Now looking over here at the nonlinear association, notice that we don't have um, a very clear line that we could draw through it, that the pattern appears to make a curve. So some associations will do this. You can see there's a pattern. There's definitely a trend, but it's not a linear trend. So this would be an example of a nonlinear trend, a nonlinear association. We don't use a trend line to represent this. So example one, which line is the best model of the data? So we're not given the entire problem yet, but usually on a problem like this, you might see it in a multiple choice format where you're given a scatter plot and you're given a few lines on the plot and we're trying to decide which one has, is the best representation of those points. Okay, well there's line A. It does go through some points, but it's not even going the same direction as the points. So we would say that's probably not a good model for the data. Here's line B. It's closer to the points than line A was, but notice that half the points are above line B on the left and the other half are below line B on the right. It appears that line B is steeper than a trend line should be for that data. Then we have line C. Line C does appear to center through the points. There's a few points above and a few points below, but it pretty much centers through them. It is a straight line, so we would choose that line C is the best model for the data. Um, an explanation for this would probably um, that we could use is the points are close to the entire line. And so we could write that. So as I said, this type of question you'd probably see as multiple choices, and you're just looking for the line that best fits the data. An alternative, you might see these um, represented in four choices that are each a scatter plot with a line drawn through them, and you're choosing the scatter plot with the line that best represents the data. Example two. Determine whether the scatter plot of the data for the following situations would have a positive or negative linear association. Part A, time working and money earned. We want to know if it's going to have a positive or a negative association. So we'll have to think through the situation. As a person's time working increases, they work more hours, what will their money do? As the time increases, the money also increases. 
So they both increase together. So this is a positive linear association. We could say they both increase. As time increases, money increases. B part, temperature and people wearing coats. So we'll think as temperature increases, it's getting warmer, the number of people wearing coats would decrease. They're doing opposites. We could have also thought, well, what about if the temperature is decreasing, the temperature is getting colder, then the number of people wearing coats will increase, it'll go up. So this would be a negative association. They do opposites. As one increases, the other decreases.